Magkano ba yung capital na kailangan mo if you want to retire with dividends? Okay? So, say for example, gusto mong kumita ng 20,000, 50,000, or even 100,000 per month in dividends, okay? How much capital do you need? Okay? So, if that is something na you're wondering, then make sure you check this video out. Hi guys, this is Tio Pilo and inspire kong gumawa ng video na to because I received a question okay, from one of my subscribers uh, about dun sa REIT investing. So in my previous video, I meant, I actually shared dun yung, yung percentage na kinita ko investing in REITs okay, for one year. Okay? So for one year, magkano yung kinita kong A REIT and DD MPR. However, yung nilagay ko dun is percentage. Okay? That's why I got this question na... How much ba yung actual? Do they wanna know yung actual na kikita talaga if you invest in REITs? Okay, so ito yung question from Mami. Sabi niya dito na Mami Reg. Okay, um, given the same percentage na video with the investment of 1K and no additional shares bought, how much would be the dividend earnings after one year? Okay, so they want to know yung actual earnings. Okay, tapos uh, ito naman another question from Rob Way. Okay, sabi niya din dito na Mag maganda ba monthly mag-invest specific amount uh, mag mag ito magigi magkano kikitain kung minimum lang sana makagawa kayo ng video kung paano kung minimum lang yung investment at magkano talaga yung kikitain pati mga fees okay so uh, he's interested to know the actual tapos with fees din tapos he even asked dito na naguguluhan kasi ako sa 8k rule Okay, so yeah, sa 8K rule and the fees, probably I'll explain this on in next video kasi medyo madaming mga numbers. But to make it simple in this video, um, I'm gonna show you yung actual numbers tapos to make it uh, spicy, okay? To make this video interesting then So I've, I'm also gonna share magkano yung kailangan mong capital, okay? If you wanna retire with dividends, okay? So like if you wanna earn 20,000, 50,000, or 100,000 per month in dividends, magkano yung capital na kailangan mo. Okay, so yeah, let's get started. And by the way, before that pala, uh, if meron kayong mga questions, uh, I do my best to really respond. In fact, if meron kayong mga questions down below, so you can comment down below and uh, probably in the future videos, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll answer them in the future videos or I create a video specific to mga questions. So uh, I highly encourage na mag-comment kayo and engage sa mga videos ko. Okay, so again, let's get started. So, yung first question is, what if 1,000 pesos lang, okay? Tapos, one time, yung investment mo, how much yung kikitain mo? Tapos, yung second question naman is, what if 1K per month lang? Okay? 1K per month. Okay? So, let's answer this one. So, first one is, 1K one time. So, actually, if you wanna invest in A rate or DDMPR, hindi to possible, okay? Hindi to possible. Kasi meron tayong tinatawag na board lot. Okay? So, board lot is, basically, ito yung minimum number of shares na kailangan mong i-purchase for you to invest in this uh, in this uh, company. So, let's say for example for ARIT, as of recording this video yung price per share niya is 49 pesos per share. Tapos yung board lot niya is 100 shares. So, ito yung minimum na kailangan mong bilhin. So, with that, yung minimum capital mo is 4,900 pesos. Okay? For DDMPR naman is, as of recording this video, 1.77 per share. Okay? So, yung board lot niya is 1,000 shares. So, yung kailangan mo na capital is at least uh, 1,770 pesos per share. So, if 1K one time, hindi to siya possible if you wanna invest in ARIT or DDMPR. But if you want like uh, RCR, Robinsons, or I believe yung fill invest, okay? So yung price per share nila is around 7 pesos per share. So basically you can invest nito uh, kasi yung minimum nito is 100 shares. So around 700 pesos, okay? 700 pesos. Pwede ka na bumili ng minimum RCR or uh, yung fill invest na read, okay? So however, um, para to answer this question lang, like one time mag-invest tapos magkano yung kikitain mo. So let's say for example, we go for DDMPR or Double Dragon. Okay? So let me show you yung actual numbers nito. So yung minimum number of shares na you need to invest in, say for example, DDMPR. Okay? So again, this is just an example, not financial advice. So make sure you do your own research. Okay? So this is just for informational purposes. So 1,000 shares in kailangan minimum. So as of this video, 1.77. So ideally, yung kailangan mo lang na capital is 1,770. However, meron mga call fees, okay, mga trading fees, which I'll explain in the probably in, in a separate video. 
Okay? So, with all the fees, yung kailangan mo is 1,792.67. So, I computed it already. Okay? So, ito yung kailangan mo na capital. So, let's say for example na ito yung in-invest mo, you haven't added any more shares after one year. Okay? After one year, based on the dividend history okay, of DDMPR, so quarterly nagbibigay ng dividend si DDMPR, or yung mga REITs, or most of the REITs. So, yung total number of dividends na binibigay ni D, uh, DDMPR, Double Dragon, is 0.09639118. Okay? So, basically, I just added all the all the dividends, okay? In the previous year. So, this is year 2021, okay? So, this is dividend pesos per share, okay? So, ngayon, Based the number of shares na you have, so the dividend, total dividend na binigay nila last year, times your number of shares, so which is 1,000 shares, so yung kikitain mo, okay, with minimum investment, one time, hindi ka nag-add, yung total na kikitain mo after one year is 96 pesos, 39.39118, okay? So, ito yung gross in dividends, tapos uh, meron pang withholding tax, okay? So, 10%. So, yung total na kikitain mo is 86.75 pesos in dividends. Okay? So, 86.75 pesos in dividends. So, exciting. <laughs> Pero, just think about it. Around 1.8 lang yung nilagay mo. This is actually 4.84% okay? interest in your investment. Compare mo yan by investing in the banks. Okay? So, this is pretty decent already. Okay? So, ngayon, let's... Think, uh, let's answer naman yung next question, what if 1K or minimum lang, minimum lang monthly yung, yung i-invest mo. So, let me show you the numbers. Now, this one, this is a little bit more complicated kasi um, ganito kasi, yung market, yung price per share goes up and down, up and down, parang ganun, di ba? So, meaning, dito, you can buy more shares, okay, more shares or lesser yung capital na kailangan mo. Okay, let's say for example, fix mo 1,000 shares per month, so lesser yung capital na kailangan mong ilabas. Or if meron kang more money, then you can buy more shares. However, if you buy dito at higher na yung price, so this is, mas lesser na lang yung shares mo. Less shares. Okay, or you need more capital. Okay, tapos dito, again, more shares or lesser capital. Okay, so it goes up and down, up and down. So very, medyo complicated siya, okay, when you want the actual numbers. But for this example, okay, for this example, let's just say na as of this video, 1.77 pesos per share, okay, yung DDMPR, yung price niya. Let's say for example, again, example lang to, 2.5. So it will range from 1.7 to 2.5 pesos per share. Okay? So, yung average, yung, yung price per share ni Double Dragon would be 2.135 okay? pesos per share. So, again, this is an example. Uh, over, over the year, goes up and down, up and down. Average example natin, 2.135. Okay? So, using this one, so at the end of the year, okay, so this is one year monthly, bumibili ka ng 1,000 uh, 1, shares. So, at the end of the year, meron kang 12,000 shares of DDMPR, okay? 12,000 shares of DDMPR. Tapos, um, yung average price natin is 2.135, okay? Tapos, yung capital na kailangan mong ilabas, plus the call financial fees or mga trading fees, so I just computed this one already, 25,892.64. So, ito yung total na capital na inilabas mo for the whole year. Tapos, assuming na uh, same dividends pa din, okay? 0.0963918 pesos per share in dividends na binibigay nila. So, multiply mo lang. Ito, multiply with the number of shares yung makukuha mo after one year is 1,156.69 less withholding tax na 10% for, for dividends. Okay. So, that is 1,004.02. So, this is actually 4.02% of your capital. So, kumita ka ng 4%
capital, uh, 4% dividends on your capital. So, this is just on the dividend. So, hindi pa ito included yung capital appreciation if mag increase man or if merong capital appreciation. Okay? So, I don't know if clear to in the whiteboard, but this is 1,000. Yung kikitain mo for a 25,000 peso more or less investments. Okay? So, based on our computation and yeah, um, assuming natin na uh, we get 4% interest in our in our 4% interest in our capital, okay, in terms of dividends. So, we're gonna answer yung, yung question when you started this video is, how much be yung capital na kailangan mo, okay, if you wanna retire with dividends, like, if you wanna earn 5,000, 10,000, 50,000, or even 100,000 per month. Okay, so, yeah, let me show that to you. Now, before that, I hope nasagot ko yung questions nyo. So, but basically, to give you an idea how much yung kikitain mo, basically, just compute the number of shares that you have. I multiply mo lang with the dividend rate. Okay, so you can search it in like PSE. Makikita mo yung mga dividends nila for the previous year. Okay, and then i-multiply mo lang, makuha mo yung actual dividends. Tapos, actually, multiply mo pa or less than, less mo ng 10% withholding tax para makuha mo talaga yung actual na kikitain. Mo. Okay, so if you're learning so far and nag-enjoy ka sa video na to, hit naman yung like button for the YouTube algorithm so other people can see this and consider subscribing naman if you haven't already. Okay, so ngayon, uh, let me show you how much yung capital na kailangan mo. So let's say for example, gusto mo kumita ng 5,000 per month. Okay, let's start with a little uh, a little passive income na muna. So 5,000 per month in dividends. So assuming natin na makakuha tayo ng 4% dividend, okay, interest rate or dividend yield of 4%. So basically 4,000 times 12 months, so you need 60,000 per year in dividends, okay? So 60,000 divide mo lang, okay? Divide mo lang by 4%, yung kailangan mo ng capital is 1.5 million pesos. Okay, 1.5 million pesos. You need to invest 1.5 million pesos okay, para, para, anong tawag ito? Para, you need to invest 1.5 million pesos para kikita ka ng 5,000 pesos per month. Okay, so assuming natin, let's do some actual figures again, the, um, like DDMPR. So, DDMPR na lang para consistent tayo yung, 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 yung example natin all throughout the video. So, example, DDMPR at 1.77 pesos per share. Uh, let me double check that one. Uh, okay. 1. Point, ano, hindi pala. Yung nilagay ko dito sa computation ko is 2.135. So, 2.135 pesos per share. Okay. So, yung number of shares, so 1.5 million mo, um, tapos bibili ka ng at this one, at this rate so yung number of shares that you're gonna be having is around 702 576.11 okay, so at the dividend rate, dividend rate of 4% okay, let me double check that one at, okay, uh, okay so at a dividend rate of 0. 0.0 9639118 again ito these are the dividends na binibigay nila for the year 2021 and this could go up this could go down okay depending on the performance of the of double dragon so itong number of shares mo multiply mo dito so yung kikitain mo in in dividends is 67k or 5643 per month okay pesos per month. Okay? What if? Okay, what if gusto mong kumita ng 50,000? Okay? 50,000 per month. So actually multiply mo lang to by 10. Ito, di ba? So times 10 na lang kasi So, yeah, this would be this would be times 2 12600k. All right? Tapos same example, okay? So yung kailangan mo na kailangan mo na capital is 15 million, okay? Invest 15 million to earn 50,000 per month. Okay, tapos average price 2.13, so number of shares that you'll be having is around 7 million shares. Yung kikita mo in dividends is 56,435 pesos per month. Okay, tapos what if gusto mo ng 100,000, 100,000, kita pa ba? 100,000 per month in dividends, so times 12, so this is 1.2 million in dividends. Divide by 4% dividend rate, dividend interest. So you need a capital of 30 million. 30 million 
yung capital na kailangan mo para kikita ka ng 100,000 per month in dividends. Okay, so but basically I'm just showing you na possibly, possible that you can retire with dividends but yeah, medyo kailangan mo ng malaking capital, okay, malaking capital uh, for you to actually earn a substantial amount of dividends per month, okay? I hope hindi ka na confused doon, okay? So, ang daming numbers, di ba? And I know a lot of people really don't like to, don't like numbers. But anyway, to summarize, ito yung, ito yung formula that you can use para makapag-estimate ka how much yung kailangan mong capital if you want to live off dividends. So, basically, monthly dividend goal, like 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, multiply mo lang by 12 months, okay? Para makuha mo yung annual, okay? Tapos, divide mo by the percentage dividend yield, okay? So, like percentage. So, based on sa mga previous examples natin, merong 4%. Okay, so it can go up and down depending on the REIT or depending on the stocks, dividend stocks that you're investing in. Okay, so tapos um, dividend goal times 12 divided by percentage yield, yan yung capital na needed mo, okay, para makapag-retire ka with dividends. Okay, so I hope you learn a lot from this video and if you do, make sure to like this video, consider subscribing if you haven't already and if you want to start your passive income journey with me, visit my website freedomlabph.com again that's freedomlabph.com and I hope to see you inside. Tapos if meron kayong mga questions, uh, if meron kayong gusto nga share, you can comment down below and probably if needs, uh, if I need to, I'll create a video dun sa mga concerts niya. Okay, so once again, this is Tio Pillow and create your desired lifestyle. Bye-bye!